Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another video for you guys today. So today we are going to go over a PSA submission. It was a group submission that uh, I joined, um, I want to say at the beginning of the year or at the end of last, uh, at the beginning of 2021 or the end of 2020. It's been a while, um, as you guys are all aware. Um, and this group submission was through Mike O. I know most of you probably already know Mike O, but if you don't, I'll put a link to his channel in my description. Um, he, uh, had been doing PSA group submissions for a long time, which I had been a part of. Um, he still does group submissions, but he mostly does SGC now, um, which, uh, I think I'll be sending to him pretty shortly here. Got some more cards that I want him to grade, but Mike O does a great job. He's a huge part of the card community. Um, he does, uh, product breaks. He does, uh, submission reveals. He... He uh, started out, at least from what I remember him as, uh, as a, he was a TTMer. Uh, he doesn't do TTMs really anymore. He'll occasionally get one in, though, that's been out for a long time. But uh, he's just big, big part of our community and a great guy. And uh, I just thank him so much for putting these group submissions on. Uh, they are a lot of work, and I can only imagine uh, how much work it is for him because his group submissions got to be huge. So wanted to share these uh share these cards with you they're all from my 1960 tops football set that i'm putting together uh as some of you may or may not know i'm trying to put together an entire graded set of 1960 tops football <clears throat> and so these were submissions i sent in to get slabbed up and i uh, want to share them with you guys so our first one is coming from mr joe walton as you can see we got a six on it from the Washington Redskins. Um, try to get cards that are as centered as possible. Um, as you guys know, I try to get some that look, you know, have good color, centered, full borders, um, aren't scratched off on the back here, and um, try to get them for a good deal. So we, we got this Joe Walton, looked great. Glad that it got a six. I um, think that's pretty good. You can tell that. Uh, there's a little bit of some color issue. Probably would have gotten higher had it not had the color issue. But, you know, they're 1960 cards. So, that's the first one. Our next one is coming from Jim Gibbons. Got a five. Former Detroit Lion. Again, you can see it's centered pretty well. Here's the back. You can see, like, this one. You can see this one had been rubbed because you can see the little comic there. Um, but, uh... From what I remember, this was such a great deal, I couldn't pass it up. So that's why I ended up going with it. So a five. Cannot complain with that. Our next one is coming from Mr. Gene Lipscomb. Got a six from the Baltimore Colts. Uh, this one is one of my more off-centered cards. But again, I had gotten such a great deal on it. I was like, as long as it has borders, which does, still has border, I figured I would take it. And, I mean, we got a six on it, so that's not bad. Uh, not scratched off. Well, maybe it is a little bit. I can't tell. Yeah, it might be a little bit. It's close. But uh, definitely glad to get get all these cards back. Um, that way I can kind of get my set reorganized. I have about uh, 10 or 12 more that are raw that I need to get graded. So those might be the ones I send into Mike uh, for SGC. Um, we got this Bill Pennington from the Baltimore Colts here. Got a six on it as well. You can see this card's centered really, really nice. Got some corner issues, especially right down there, but looks great. These cards are just, they look amazing to me. I just, I just love, I love vintage cards, but these 1960 cards, uh, for the, the football set at least, they are so simple, um, which I think is what I like the most about them, but I don't know, it's just simple and clean. Our next one, this person I actually recently passed away here. It's coming from Mr. Fred Cohn, Dallas Cowboys fullback. Got a five on this one. Um, I also know that he was a Packer, I believe. Um, I think he recently passed away within the last few weeks here, maybe a month or so uh, at the most. But uh, sad news. Of course, we're losing quite a few people here lately. But uh, this card is uh, centered enough, so we got full borders. Corners are pretty decent. The color on this is actually really, really nice on this card. Um, 
and for five, uh, I'm not going to complain. This submission was so old that I want to say that these were $10 a piece. So uh, at $10 a piece, you can't, you know, you can't go wrong with that, especially from PSA. But we all know how things have changed now. Uh, this next one is from Andy Robustelli. Got a six on it from the New York Giants defensive end. It's got some marking on the card, but that was more from uh, printing right here. So that wasn't done after the fact. I was just printing defects on it. Um, we still got a six. Again, full borders. Not not the best centering, but full borders. This one was rubbed on the back. Uh, again, I got such a great deal on it, I couldn't pass it up. I think some of these I got from uh, Morris Cards. And I want to say they were like opening bids that I got some of these on. So I got them for, it was either 79 cents or 99 cents. I can't remember. It's been so long. But I got I got opening bids on them, so I couldn't really complain. Uh, our next one is coming from Charlie Ain, uh, Dallas Cowboys Center. This one you can see barely has some border on the side here. It was close. Got a five. Uh, I know Mike could show these off on his channel, and I, I definitely agree. I think had some of these either had a little bit better coloring or centered a little bit better, they a lot of these probably would have jumped up a grade or so, um, which says a lot. I mean, we're close on some of these. We're probably close to sevens, uh, which is pretty nice. So I think if this one was centered better, we would have easily been able to get a six at least. And then the last one for the submission is coming from Dick Bilski, uh, Dallas Cowboys end. This one got a four. This is my lowest grade. Um, this one had some corner issues, some coloring issues. Um, it was probably, I'd say probably close to a five. I think that the wear on the back probably kept it from a five, but it was close. I know it was close, but again, we got it slabbed. It's another card down for the for the set. So with this whole submission, we got we knocked off eight more slabbed cards. Um, like I said, I have about 10 or 12 cards that I have to still get slabbed. Um, but I think with all those, once I get those slabbed, it'll get me over 50% complete for the set slab, uh, slab wise. So I'm looking to pick up some either cheap slabs or some cheap raw cards to get slabbed. Um, cause I'd like to finish one of my goals for 2022 is to try to finish this set off so I can start a new one. Um, and then... Uh, obviously working on my 1990 Donruss autograph set. That's that's number number one and 1A with this in the 1990 Donruss set. So glad to get this back. Again, a huge, huge thank you to Mike O. Um, hope you guys go check out his channel if you don't already. Um, might consider jumping in on some of his SGC submissions. Uh, just reach out to him. He's a great guy. He'll get back to you quickly. And uh, he does just, just does an awesome job. You don't have to worry about your stuff at all with Mike and and it's really appreciated, and, and just thank you, Mike, for doing all you do for us, man. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys like the uh, vintage cards we got back. Um, hoping I can get some TTMs here soon. I don't know what's going on. So uh, until then, we'll continue with some other videos, some different content, and maybe that's why we're not getting TTMs back. Maybe we need to switch it up a little bit. But guys, I hope you all have a blessed evening. Until our next video. <laughs> See ya. Bye, guys.